Why does it violate the solid principles to add a new option here? Well, these options are all sorting algorithms that we can pick from in our code. And if we look at the code, we can see each one, new is first, old is first, alphabetical, they all have their own if condition in our code. If we want to add a new option, we have to add a new if condition to the underlying code, violating the open close principle. So is there a way to make this easier? Well, we've just unlocked a brand new design pattern that's going to allow us to isolate each of these different implementations and test and work on them individually. Welcome back to this series on design patterns, where we look at a real world problem and apply a design pattern to it. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe and watch the previous one. 101s, depends what order they come out. So the open close principle says that our code should be open to new additions, but closed to modification. I don't really know where deleting the whole thing comes in, but it's for a good cause. So we'll split up our code into each way that it applies the sorting. We'll call these strategies and we'll define them independently. Then we have a function which takes in the data and the strategy and without caring about what the strategy is, applies the strategy to the data. That way we can easily and dynamically apply any of our predefined strategies to the data as well as create our own ones whenever we want without having to worry about how the other ones work. This is called, if you haven't already guessed, the strategy pattern. It's probably the most useful pattern that we'll look at. It's very useful when you want to allow the user to pick different options where all of the options work differently. Different sign options, different payment options, different, look at my notes, notification options. 